How are you? Uh, that's a good question. All right. Well, I've seen better days. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? I've seen worse days. So mm -hmm. I guess it, it, it by the tends to balance out. Right. Um, right. I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to just uh, tie up all the the loose loose ends and whatnot, and just making sure that I have all of my <laughs> uh, have all my uh, my my eyes crossed and my teeth dotted, so to speak. Okay. Um, okay, you like to see that. I'm getting a lot of harassment. Oh, a whole lot. So I guess I must have started some sort of uh, internet war or something like that. But uh, you know what? When it, it just seems like uh, um, when you're at certain times, everyone just seems to dogpile on you. So that's that's fine. I'm used to it. Okay, so so we're being gang stalked. Oh sure. Mm -hmm. I mean that's 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 a given. That's been that's been a couple of years in the making now, probably more than I know. Um, okay. But, but um, other than that, you know, I mean, like uh, I've said everything I had to say. So, and, and and right now, I think that a lot of these people who are attacking me, uh, they need to take a step back because uh, it's it's just going to look bad in the long run. Sure. Sure. Okay, so... How have you been? I haven't talked to you in a second. What? How have you been? I haven't talked to you in a second. Uh, I'm just in a, in a whirl of activity constantly, and I don't even know where I am or what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, I, I identify with that. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just in a blur, and I'm fine. I'm okay. It seems that, you know, and after a while, it's it's not even the idea that uh, there's just so much going on and there's a confusion, but I think out of all the madness, uh, there's just a white noise that forms and, and there's there's so, sort of a, there's sort of an uber consciousness that comes up. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's... And um, okay. when, when that uber consciousness hits, you, you start to see a lot of things as as to how they really are and, and not how they should be. Okay, so how are they? I don't know. Um, so, uh, as, as for as for calling up uh, your parents and, uh, you know, not even call, because I didn't even call them, because at this point, it was just, we had just been uh throwing emails back and forth at each other and I hadn't talked to them I hadn't talked to them since September okay. and the whole plan was is I was I, I had gone out there back in uh, 2017 and I was I was just gonna lay it all down and tell them all, all my thoughts and feelings okay. except that my mother who I hadn't seen in about four years going you know, almost five years it's now five years okay. uh it was five and a half, I guess. Um, she wasn't there. She had. She had no. I mean, you know, this. She was. The, not, she was it, not available in 2017. Yeah, and and you know, they they knew what was up. They they knew they knew that I had an awakening going on. Okay. They saw it. They and like I said, every single move that's going on right now. The guy who prepped me up for getting out of this whole thing, everything that they're doing right now, or that they've done, because right now I'm in a gaslighting period. All right, all right. Uh, it's all predicted. It's all, every every step, every step, it's like clockwork. Okay. Uh, they're just going with the program. And uh, it's, it's sad to see, because it, it does, it creates a... Uh, It just, it just, it, it sinks everything in even deeper because yes. uh, uh, you start, you start to have your doubts. Hey, you know what am I doing? Like this, this is all, this is all bizarre. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> when you start to see that their plans and their agendas are shattering, okay, uh, 
think there's a, there's a reveal, there's a revelation. Okay. Okay, well, you know, we're looking for that. I am, you know, I, I'm just, I just feel like it's time for that. And it's just happening, you know, not just you. So, I guess the ultimate question is, and you know, I've thought a lot about this because you, uh, um, you see, especially in the, the media will sometimes spotlight this whenever they feel like it, uh, manipulating this topic. Okay. But these trannies, you see these trannies, these transsexual, these guys who are walking around, these big lumbering dudes, okay. putting on lipstick and pantyhose and walking around saying, hey, I'm a man. I get what that is. When you see those men walking around, they're just trying to reconnect back with their own nature. They're trying to get back with what society has had, what originally had planned for them, for their, for their type of uh, uh, chemistry. So yeah. they're just trying to get back to that nature. Uh, yeah. I, I, are you talking about like like a de Dennis Rodman or something? So, no, when you see, you know, there's this GameStop tranny that everyone's dogpiling on right now that I see. And this poor man, he was probably at one point a woman that was converted at a very young age into a man, figured it out at a very late age, and there was no turning back. But you know what? That guy was brave enough to decide to try it and say, hey, you know what? I was originally born a female, and that's the type of life. That's the societal type of life that I should be living. That's what I should have been living all this time. And that's what they're trying to reconnect with. I, I have not heard of the GameStop. Is, is there something going on that I'm missing? It's just one of these stories that the press puts up so that everyone can go, oh, look at that dumb guy pretending like he's a woman. But, you know, the fact is the guy probably started out as a little baby girl and they jacked that thing up full of... Uh, hormones that would make you ram your head through a, a tile floor mm -hmm. and uh, um, uh, rearranged its sex parts, its body parts, and its chemistry, and and everything else. All it's all controlled. It, everything's under control with yeah. that. I I'm gonna have to look look into that because I, you know, I'll I'll look this up after I get off the phone, and um, I. <laughs> You know, the, there are these stories. We're always getting these transgender stories. It's just the idea that, you know, there's a lot of people, that these, these little kids right now are transitioning, and they have this choice where they can transition and say, oh, you know, this is what I want to do, you know, these eight, nine, ten-year-olds and stuff like that. What about three-year-olds? What about when I was asked when I was three years old? and said, hey, this is what's going to happen if you're going to join the family. You have to become a man. We're going we're gonna to turn you into a boy, just like your brother. Right. And then here's, here's my brother. She has him going and using the bathroom and saying, hey, look how easy it is. See that? See how nice it is to be a boy? Look at that. And I didn't want to do it. I was scared. I was crying. But no, you know what? I can't join the family if I don't do this surgery, this operation. Age of three is their consent. That's it. That's what they think. I, it's it's hard it's hard to imagine something like that, you know. If I didn't do it, what would happen? What would they just recycle my body parts? I'd just get trafficked off to someone else, uh, get sent to some sort of some uh, reconditioning camp, and they'll just try again. It's very. It's. I mean, it's it's unbelievable that somebody would ever have to face that. You know, it's very, it's very, it's very hard to, to handle, you know, it's very difficult. And, um, it's, well, that's the thing. Where do you start? I, I, don't, I don't know where you start. I, I have no idea. But I guess my point is, my whole point is, is you know, that, like I said, the next, the next time you see some big old lumbering, uh, a man in a, in a mini skirt and some fishnets and and some some caked on makeup and some, yeah. some crappy looking lipstick because they don't know how to put on lipstick because they've been doing manual labor all their lives. Yeah. You see those people; those people are hurting inside because they got denied something that they didn't have any options. They had no choices, and they they were denied something in a way that 
would make them feel punished and they didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I totally hear you. So, I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say anymore. I think I've, I've, had, I've said everything I had to say on, on, on their end of things. That's very true. They, there's nothing I need to say to them at all anymore, and I shouldn't have even said anything in the first place. It should have just been, uh, uh, just let them drift off into oblivion. Enjoy, they can enjoy all their money that they made from from being on that extra level tier of uh, whatever stupid pyramid cult they joined. Okay. I think it's probably, you know what, it's ex-family, it's ex-family, first of all, which is, uh, that was started by David Berg, uh, a notorious uh, uh, homosexual pedophile, uh, uh, who actually uh, considered rape a legitimate form of lovemaking. All right, well, you know, we keep hearing about this in other areas. Well, let's talk about the time that I was almost raped. And it was while there was a sex party going on. And it was this redheaded fucker who I think might have been some sort of leader or something. And I denied his love. There was actually women trying to push down on the top of my head so that this guy can penetrate. And this was still when I was a female. Okay, so you're, you're like three? And I ripped this dude's chest hair out. Okay. And this this is the this is the kitchen floor. They moved the uh, kitchen table out so they could make room for all the people that they had up that they had this party for. The whole room was full of just people laying on the floor, all these adults and shit like that. Oh my okay, and she comes over, sweaty in her underwear. I'm wondering why she's doing that. She picks me up and puts me back in my crib, and uh, the party was over for me. Uh, you know, they they went in and told bro, uh, who was who was trying to get it on with two two chicks at once. Uh, they told him the news of what happened because uh, they had to announce the the whole the whole transition. Did, did, Hello. Uh, you're you're telling me that you're a a three year old at an orgy, and your brother is being told that you're you are going to transition. Yeah. I, so it's so horrible, you know. Oh. He has a choice. He could back me up on this, or he could he could back them up. I think he's already made his choice because I think he's he's done the same thing with his kids. Who knows? Okay. You know, I can only I can only speculate on this, but you know what? I see a lot of patterns, and I, I see a lot of similarities. And even now, even even as even even as my mother wants to gaslight me send me these things and say, oh, you know, they can't blame uh, any kind of alcoholism because I don't drink. They can't blame drugs because I don't do drugs. She's sending me stuff on whippets because I used to work in kitchens. Yeah. So, I understand. you know, if, if she's going to gaslight me, that's, you know, that's fine. But you know what? That's also one of the, one of the rules of the book is that immediately once he's baffling, let's figure out what's going on. You gotta, you gotta gaslight them. And you gotta say, oh, well, they're drug addicts, or they drank all their lives. They don't know what they're doing. They're crazy. They must be schizophrenic. Uh, we have to give them a lobotomy before they talk to anyone. Kind of like shit like that. And that electroshock therapy. You think these kids getting thrown into institutions is just some kind of, oh, well, they just must be crazy and they watch too much Marilyn Manson or some shit like that. Like it's ridiculous, Marilyn Manson, right? Yes, um, yes it is. So. That's the next step is the gaslight. And I've, I've seen, I already see it, and it's and they're bad actors. They're really, they're very bad actors. So I see uh -huh. right through it, and I know the next steps that they're gonna do. So I've already crossed all those off. They can't move right now because of what I've done. They're trying they to get where they live. They can't make a fucking move. And when I came out with this shit, and every every dickhead who hacked me, guess what? They ran into something they didn't think they were going to run into because I made sure to call the right authorities about what was going on. Oh, my God. Okay? Man. I I hear you. And that's why I'm proud of you, Tanster, Tana. You did a great job because you know what? Oh I can trust you. You never hacked me. You never lied to me. Anything like that. You didn't try to pry into my life inordinately. I 
And you weren't deceptive. You were never deceptive at any point along the way. And I know this because you didn't fall like all these other people that fell. And you watched them all fall. You saw them all falling. As soon as they got involved with me, you saw what happened. Okay. And and look at this jerk off right now who's getting on my case. Um, I'm not even going to say his name. We know we, we know who we're talking about, though. We do know who we're talking about. Yes. Okay. He's. he's uh, I, I think. I think OG Juan's got him covered. Thanks, OG, if he's out there listening. Um. But that that piece of crap. He just stepped in a whole pile of it. He doesn't even realize it, but I think he's going to realize it pretty fucking soon. He's got his his dumb little army, which is probably just him and a bunch of laptops that he uses for Bitcoin mining or something like that. Okay. He's probably got multiple personalities. Who knows? Okay. This guy admitted to me way back in May mm -hmm. that he had a troll site that he was going around. And he even said the name of it, and I remember the name of it because I'm not fucking stupid. Mm. And now, now they're trying to wipe me up and down like I'm some kind of nutbag. And they're doing it in a concerted manner. So this is all orchestrated. I agree with that. You know, you know, well, I, I, I will say this, Ben. Okay? They're, try, they're trying to drag me into it, too. I'm just letting you know. Okay. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, have, well, I have a lot of new friends that I'm, I'm not talking to anymore, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know what I'm saying, right? But everyone's far off. Some, some random lady decided to make a video on me because she was just curious, and they they ripped it down. She can't. She doesn't even have a show anymore. And then, uh, uh, who was it? And, oh, and they, Jesus. I mean, uh, uh, I guess I guess the one who was supposedly grassing on me through uh, what's his name was was Isaac Cappy. Yeah. Because I decided to call him up and talk to him on the phone. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe that guy's just being used as a scapegoat. But we thought from the very beginning when that guy came up, he was just trying to mirror me. Yeah, I, I do agree with that. And I'm, to, I'm to the point right now where I'm questioning a lot of things. And a lot of things are fitting into places very, very precisely. Yeah. I mean, I, I know about gaslighting. I know that that's a, a favored move. There's there's no coincidences, and this is all part of the plan. I agree. I agree. It's just, it's, just it's, hard, it's hard to know what to do and, you know, what the right thing is. Uh, go into hibernation mode. I'm, 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 not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making myself available to anybody. I think that's why. But in the meantime, it's, it's, it's just been, uh, like I said, it's all been going to plan. And it's and it, every single step is ensuring, ensuring the idea that I'm right about this. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I did not grow up in this cult. And I'm only looking at it from the outside. And your story sounds very consistent with everything else I'm seeing. In the cult that's running things. Oh, XFAM? They they kidnap, they hold people hostage. The kidnapping is one of their big things. They they love to kidnap people. It's terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it's seriously terrifying. I've never heard of this group before. I've, What's that? I've never heard of this X family. Mm -hmm. X family is a branch of the children of God. So you ever hear about Rose McGowan and all those people who were in that church, like uh, River River Phoenix and, and his little his little bro, uh, uh, the the guy with the Mike Hammer lip, and um, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, and um, you know, it, it gets pretty deep, and you you look at the the things that these people have gone to court over unashamedly. You know, marrying multiple eleven-year-olds, and uh, uh, it, it just goes on. And on. It's just disgusting shit. It's just your basic, typical cult shit where you have this, some dickhead leader yeah. who has all these people fucking fooled, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'll 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 kill for this idiot. 
Okay, well, th this is not this is not in public consciousness. This ex family, I've never heard of it. I have absolutely heard of Children of God. So, um, just when you know you're telling a satanic ritual abuse story, and it's just so it's so hard to hear. I just I can't even tell you how painful it is to know that you went through this. You know. Yeah. You know, even so, who, I, you know, and I can't even remember the lady because someone stole my notebook with all my numbers in it. That's why I had to look through about um, 30 minutes worth of messages between you and me before I could find your number again. And I only have one of them now. Yeah. But uh, all my other numbers are gone. But uh, who was the lady? Uh, um, um, I, I, was, uh, I was on her show. It was after I was on uh, What's His Name show. Um, yeah, I can't find her. Because all of her website stuff is gone, and then the number that I did have from her is disconnected. So there's no way I can even get in touch with her. She's just disappeared. I was I was followed on Twitter by her yesterday. Okay, okay. I, that's such a coincidence, you know? That is weird. Yeah, Evelyn, Evelyn Pringle. Yeah, that's right. All right, so they're trying to isolate you. They don't want you to talk to anybody. Yeah. Anyone, anyone looks to give looks you that way. New credibility. So it's they're swarming you. That was the other thing, you know. He would always send these vitamins out and stuff like that, and be like, "Oh, take these vitamins." And like, always vitamins. And you know, the the last round that I had gotten, I would eat those things, and then about thirty minutes, in, I, my brain would be wiped. I wouldn't even be able to remember a thought that I had uh, fourteen seconds before. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. How did you feel otherwise, other than being forgetful? Um, just, uh, uh, um, just weird. Just really weird. Just really dependent. Okay, so, so it would be so interesting to know what you were given. I don't know, like the company that these things came from, I looked into them and they were just some uh, weird holding company out of Manhattan, or not Manhattan, but just out of some upstate, uh, uh, you know, somewhere up the Taconic uh, Parkway kind of company. Mm -hmm. And then even looking into that, like all their assets are just pretty, pretty much, you, you can't even trace them back. I mean, it's basically just like some some weird shell company. Okay, okay, I, I'm following you. But there's stuff, I mean, it's just, and I start to watch these videos about other people who are going through the same exact fucking thing, to a T. It's absolutely, it's just absurd. It's, it's just a mockery that anyone's going to try to gaslight me. It's ridiculous. Oh, and you know what? Like, if, if I'm gone, if I'm not around, if I'm all of a sudden you can't find me, uh, don't wonder why. It's not suicide. I'm not trying to kill myself. That's not even in my nature. I'm not someone who gives up on things. Oh my goodness, friend. I mean, I'm obviously speechless, you know. And it doesn't help that uh, I also probably started a little fight with the cult of Hillary Clinton uh, at that at that party I was at where I'm, I'm hanging out with fucking Huma Abedin, her husband, who can't stop jerking off in front of 15-year-olds uh, on his fucking phone. Yeah. The phone just keeps clicking. I know what that is. Yeah. It's it's just, it's absolutely it's it's absurd, it's just absurd to think about you know I, I can't I can't explain to you how you know you watch these movies you watch like Enemy of the State or something like that and it's just absolutely it's it's just like that it's just you just got these people around you got people watching you you have the technology is there yeah. and people say you're crazy no the technology's there asshole. You could trade and get them when you want. You could chip people and they won't even know it. You could spray stuff in their face. There's scopolamine. Scopolamine is a drug that the derivatives of it, you could just spray it in someone's face and have them clean out their own bank account, move up a moving van up to their house, to help you move all their stuff into it, and then they wake up the next morning and they don't even know what happened. And people don't think that technology is around. Come on. All right, so you're talking like Nazi mind control stuff. Oh, it's all there. Yeah. Well, it's all there. And like I said before, you look into the SES and what they were doing with the SIS. It's straight out of Seattle, by the way. I mean, I'm right on their back doorstep, and they work mainly for Amazon. And uh, I, I've made I've made no friends with Amazon. I guarantee you there. 
I don't I don't think there's there's not a time I don't get a chance where uh, I, I describe Jeff Bezos as probably the next Adolf Hitler. And I guarantee you, people wonder how Adolf Hitler came into power. I give you Jeff Bezos. You, okay? Jeff Bezos. And that's not a joke. And you know what? If we have hope for the future, we're going to have Kanye West as a president in probably the next uh, 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 10 years or so, maybe maybe 14 years. Okay. I can see it. At, at the point we're at now, it's, it's definitely a, a, a huge, a huge factor. People talk, people talk a crazy talk, but I also said that Trump was probably going to get elected back in the day. So, yeah, I, I, you know, anybody they could put anybody in that role. Yeah. They could be um, I'm, you know, it's not, it's not out of the question. But other than that, I don't, you know, I don't have much else to say. You know, I, I, I did exactly what I had to do. And, uh, I mean, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free. I'm sure there's some people that would like to know what's going on and probably have some questions as well. I'm, I'm sure people have a lot of questions. Cause a lot of and as always, I am always open to answer people's questions. I'm right here. All right. Well, that's good. I just, um, you know, as an outsider, I see that the babies are being they're having their gender changed and there's an army there's a whole transgender army of people and it's all it's all uh, it's all a huge plan it was all a plan for revolution and it fell through it did it did it what's going on what's your insight I don't know you know what like I see I see the Baphomets everywhere now. I look around and I see them all, all over the place. I was looking, I was in Target yesterday and I saw them on Target. You know, all the models. You know, the guys all have oh. short arms and they all look like girls and the women all have long arms and they sort of look like it's, men, um, you know? it's, I Why is the whole Target how I look, you know, like... I just, I just, uh, I just hope that I hope, I hope people have, uh, I hope people have a certain amount of compassion when they see people that, of that disposition. I think people should have a lot of compassion, and it, I do think it needs to be talked about. Because what's going on? Because they, because they're gonna have to tell, they're gonna have to tell me I'm crazy too. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Because I'm seeing it. You know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that there's this whole echelon where the faces don't match the clothes, you know? Yeah. What's going on? You know, and, and if any of us say we're seeing this, we're just told we're crazy. So they're gonna exactly. Have to, they're going to have to gaslight all of those of us who... But the weird thing it's just easy, it's easy to pass someone off as crazy because all you have to do is say one word and then everyone just will just dismiss somebody because they don't like their ideas. No. But they're going to have to... The, what's so odd is there's all this propaganda on YouTube telling people that this is going on and that we should be really aggressive about this class of people who we, we don't know what's being done to them. And, and we don't know what they're being told if they... Uh, reveal what was done to them like this is a whole issue here why is there propaganda on youtube trying to make people hate them and you know we know that they probably don't feel like they can talk about it so why are groups being set against each other through youtube propaganda how about that I mean, that's a question i think it's been this is like an ancient slavery thing this goes back to mesopotamians this is this is egyptian uh, 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 Baalbek, uh, uh, ritual, it's a, it's a ritual process that's probably ageless. It's how people derive their eunuchs and slaves. Right, we... Except there's different, uh, designations of, of, of slaves, and apparently I was a sex slave, because I was, came, I was coming out of a cult, sex cult. 
Yeah, people are being born into these uh, roles. I don't even. I didn't even remember this whole thing really until just a, just a few years back. And then over the years, there was always hints given to me. And then there was some people that just flat out told me. I had a I had a girlfriend whose mom straight up called me a tranny when I was twenty one years old. My mother, she was so pissed about that, so mad. I wonder why. I was like, why? Why was that? Why is that something you do? Like, what's that? That's weird. But you know, I just didn't know. You were didn't know what's going on. Twenty one years old. Your girlfriend's mother called you a tranny. Yeah, and the girlfriend knew. I mean, she knew everything. She she knew all about it. She would hang out with friends, and her friends would look at me and be like, hey, he's not one of us. Why do you want to date him? You know, that kind of shit. So they all knew. They knew. Yeah. So, I, you know, it, here's, here's what it is. Guess what? It sucks to be left in the dark about shit. It does. Well, it's, I that's, was, I that's was... been the theme. It's just being left in the dark and just no, but nobody bothers to, to give you the heads up, you know? Oh, and it's not just that I'm walking around my, my zipper down or anything like that. I'm walking around with somebody's penis. I don't know whose it is. I don't know where it came from. I, you know? I, uh, you know? If I expose myself, do, am I implicating somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't mean to joke. No, it's, but it's it, but it's horrific, and you know I I'm somebody who just grew up in this country, and I I grew up finding Andrew McCarthy and Rick Astley very attractive, and you know <laughs> I feel I feel a little tormented by that too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are not very masculine men. I say not really we're all being so messed up by this I mean not at the level that you are but what are they doing to us I know what are they doing I mean, I and that's even crazier because guess what if I if I date a female that, that that's, I'm gay right there I'm gay for dating females it's so it's so messed up yeah, how's that? How do you you know? And how do you roll that out too? Hey, guess what? You oh, you might you might fancy me. Uh, uh, here's one thing you should probably know, though. I know, but then, uh, but then you know, a person in that situation has to keep it a secret. So that person is forced to lie to everybody or uh, scare people, or you know what I mean? Like you're putting. The and that's where the situation. cult comes in. That's where the idea of the whole cult comes in is just all you're holding all these people to secrecy so they understand mm. how to keep secrets and then it just it just compiles from there mm. and you know what they don't like when their secrets are exposed so I'm, I'm probably pissing off a lot of people I get it oh, yeah. I understand that I understand I'm probably blowing a lot of people's uh, 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 thoughts and feelings and agendas but you know what to live your life just lying to people and saying oh you know these are the things that I'm going to identify with rather than these are the things that are actually occurring. You're living in a dream world and you need to fucking wake up because that dream never goes right and it never goes well because it is a deception. It's a veil. I totally hear you. And, and that's something that you see on these uh, propaganda videos on YouTube, which is uh, they should change, they should admit the truth, they should, uh, you know, announce to everybody that they're transgender, but then they have to give away the people who did it to them, and those people might kill them. So I really do think that this whole propaganda thing on YouTube needs to be really called out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they focus on Christians, and then they make Christians feel like the transgenders are coming to kill them. Okay? That's, uh, do you know that I, I took all those videos down? Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, I thought, like, whoa, what's going on? I was very confused. I didn't get it. I thought people should understand that this is going on. And then over time, I was like, oh, these are all shills who are trying to create a war. And basically to put these transgenders up against a wall where they think the Christians are coming to kill them. Telling the Christians that the transgenders are coming to kill them. They need to keep them in control. 
It's all it's all that, and I was even telling a buddy of mine, and, and he's he's really big into uh, in, into the African American struggle. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. and I tried to explain this to him: is that if you do your whole argument, your whole equation is based off of a black and white struggle. If you're black and white, oh, it's just black versus white. Yes. It's always black versus white. Yes. If you live like that, check it out. If all of a sudden white people didn't exist. That black person would be irrelevant. Their whole life would be irrelevant if they were just focused on white people the whole time. They were adding white people into their equation. So when you have an equation, when you have an algorithm, and you're putting in all these factors that shouldn't measure in, really, you're going to have a disharmony. You're going to have a disequation. You're going to have an in, uh, uh, imbalance. I, I know, and it's it's being done on purpose, and it does feel like uh, a spell, you know, a spell to keep us divided. And I, I thought that people needed to know that the celebrities, a lot of the celebrities are transgender. And, it, you know, personally for me, I felt like I was a disgusting fat whale because I wasn't some, you know, six foot tall bony tranny. And um, that hurt me, you know, I had eating disorders because of this. And, you know, I was being conditioned to be attracted to women through television, which freaks me out, you know? And it's nothing compared to what you went through, but we're all really being like messed up by this. And then I I really wanted people to know, and I feel bad that I was uh, promoting propaganda. Well, here's the thing, too, and and you you touched on this for a second, and uh, uh, it's it's uh, there's all this wizardry and, and and warlock witch shit going on, all this stuff that's brewing, and you know it is just spells, and you know all these spells can just broken, and all it takes is just a sentence, all it takes is just an idea, and those spells just dissipate. Absolutely. Look at Matt Lauer. All you had to do is just say something snarky to him, and uh, uh, give him a basic little fuck you, and then that guy's life is done. It, I'm shocked at it, and I, I do not take responsibility for his life. But it's you were the string that probably unwound that sweater. He probably went to work that day, and someone saw him and was like, "Hey, Matt Lauer is not not the game today. Let's take him down because they're all predators, anyways." And that's probably what happened. He got he got swooped. Well, I, very quickly after that, I started to see him on the cover of tabloids. And, and they started to say he was going to get fired. And this, not long after that, so for months, it like the cover of the magazines at the supermarket was like, Matt Lauer's going to get fired. And yeah, the man with the golden nose. Anyway, I, I never meant to do anything to Matt Lauer, and I, I'm not... No, you don't have the intent of you. You don't have the intent of taking anyone down, but you know you do. You do have an air of exposing lies and exposing deceit. I have. I've always been like this. You know, what I'm saying I can't. It. it it's. You know what I mean? Like always been like this, and I, I can't. Stop. That power's in everybody, and they just have to learn how to enact it. But it's crazy when you do, because when you are up against some kind of power, or some kind of force, it's only just a couple words that just disarms them. It's only just a couple words that just takes all their power away. And you can see it. You can see it in their eyes. Their dead eyes. Their dead eyes will flash for a second, and they realize who they are for a second, and it's gone. They're they're not on their pedestal anymore. I, I know. It's we're really seeing something, you know. I I I mean, I really like was thinking about this last night. You know, all these these people that I've hurt. You know, and it is never my intention at all. It's, it's, I just, I feel I have to do these things. Like, this situation with Matt Lauer, I, I, I did not belong in his property. I did not want to be in his property. I mean, I am really listening to uh, my intuition. And my intuition told me, cross that field right now. And it was an open horse farm, you know? And um, it was so beautiful. And I, I, I did take a picture, you know? of just this beautiful, incredible, huge horse farm I was in the middle. And, you know, he probably saw me in the middle of his giant horse farm 
taking a picture, which I, you know I totally should not have been doing, you know. And he was pissed off, and he freaking laid into me, and I was like, I'm in the middle of his horse farm, you know, like I I'm just gonna stand here while he yells at me. I saw this guy was gonna yell at me for a while, <laughs> yeah. And, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't belong in his property, but I, I did belong in his property, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in these situations that I'm being put in. And right. I, I'm like, look, I'm, I'm sorry I'm your property. You know, like, I, I don't mean to do these things. There's no intention there, you know? And then I'm, like, laying into him for months, saying that this is an indication of something that's going on that um, people are telling me that I had better back down. And I'm like, what? You know, so, so, these things are just happening. You know? The, yeah, but the people you tell to eat shit and kick rocks. Well, it, it was horrible. You know, it was horrible because I had people who were like supposedly my friends telling me that I'm, you know, a figure of hate because I wouldn't stop talking about Matt Lauer. And it's like, at the same time, I... I felt bad, you know, this is my neighbor, I was trespassing on his property, and I won't stop saying, look, this is messed up, this guy's an actor. I mean, that's what I was saying. I was like, look, you guys all need to face it, this guy's an actor. Uh, you know, that was the point. You know, I was wrong to be on his property. It wasn't, I wasn't trying to disrupt, you know, his family's life or anything. I feel, I, feel, I honestly feel bad about it. But it's like it had to happen because something had to happen that this, this, this media spell, you know, like this media spell has to be broken. I feel like it's part of that. Wait, um, I'm, I'm going to call you probably a little later. Uh, 